Today I'm going to be giving you guys yet another reason why your circumstances do not matter no matter how they look right now. Yes, I know that circumstances can be extremely challenging and you may not know what to do at this very moment. So stick around to the very end of this video because I'm going to be giving you exact ways how you can overcome your circumstance right now. Hey guys, it's Laura and welcome back to the channel where we talk about everything having to do with mindset and manifesting and the law of attraction. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'd love to help you manifest your dreams. All the information is down in the description below. Your circumstances are a function of three things. The first one is the most important one, and that is who you think you are, who you think you are in this situation, in this circumstance. The second thing is what you believe the obstacle to be. What do you think is actually standing in your way? And the third thing is what do you believe about your goal? What do you believe about the thing that you're trying to attain? What do you believe about the job you're trying to get, the opportunity you're trying to get, the relationship you're trying to get, the person you're trying to get, the money, whatever it is, what do you believe about that third thing? I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys today why all of that is actually a function of if you've been on this channel before, you know what I'm going to say. It's a function of your self-concept. And I'm going to show you many different ways in which you can overcome these circumstances and basically rise above the problem. You want to rise above the problem, above the circumstance so that you can reach your manifestation. So I'm actually going to use a few props. This is going to be our goal. Okay. This is what we're going to consider to be the manifestation that we want to attain. And these are going to be obstacles. These are things that are going to be standing in your way. Okay. And this is you, <laughs> this is who you think you are. So let's pretend that you're an ant and you want to get here to the goal. If you see yourself as this tiny little ant, this is a massive obstacle. This is a day's journey to get over this massive obstacle. It's super tiring. It takes all of your energy and your attention. And then guess what? Guess what's on the other side of that obstacle? That's right, another obstacle. And so you're gonna have to overcome that obstacle now, and you're gonna have to go over this obstacle to get to your goal. And guess what's after that? Another obstacle and another obstacle, okay? So the first problem we have, and that's number one, and that is who do you think you are? So if you view yourself as this ant, if you see yourself as small, unimportant, unworthy, not really that great, having nothing to offer, rejecting yourself in some way, these obstacles are gonna seem massive. They're gonna seem like very big challenges for you in your life. So this is number one. It's who do you think you are? The problem is if you don't change who you think you are, the obstacles are actually just gonna keep on showing up in your life again and again. And maybe you'll get to one destination. Maybe you'll get to one goal. Maybe you'll get to one manifestation through effort, through force, through so much action. It's very possible to do that. You can in fact do that, but it doesn't really make sense to do that because your life will just seem like a series of obstacles. It will seem tiring and draining, and it will seem like you're always just reaching for that which you're trying to achieve. Instead, let me offer you a different solution to your obstacles. Work on your self-concept. Work on who you think you are. Work on your worthiness, on how much you love yourself. Work on knowing how great you are and how worthy you are of all the things that you want to achieve in this life. So once you understand that, once you make that realization about yourself, let's say you don't see yourself as an ant anymore, you see yourself as a giant. Is this an obstacle to a giant? No, this is nothing to a giant. This is nothing to a giant. There could be a field of these obstacles and it really wouldn't matter. It'd actually be very easy to get to the goal. So the key in all of this is actually working on the first step, which is who do you think you are? Working on your self-concept in a deep way, spending more time and energy on yourself and less energy on the goal. All of a sudden, your perceived obstacles disappear or they become actually much smaller. The second thing that's very important to recognize is the level of importance that you're giving to your goal. If you give your goal a lot of importance, if you put it on a pedestal, if you say it's more important than you are, then you're going to have a very hard time seeing yourself as a person who could easily overcome these obstacles. You're gonna have a hard time seeing yourself as somebody who could easily have this thing over here. So all of the things that you want in your your life, all the desires that you have, all the obstacles that you perceive, they are all a function of your self-concept. So the goal is guys to raise your self-concept, 
raise your view of yourself. This is why I'm not a big proponent of affirming day and night about that which you want to achieve because it is literally like you are doing this. You're seeing yourself as an ant. You're putting 80 to 90% of your energy into trying to overcome this obstacle, trying to overcome this obstacle and the next obstacle. And you're putting all of your energy and weight on how important this is. So do you see how that would actually make your life very difficult? Do you see how that would make manifesting really, really challenging and really hard? There's a much easier way. And the easier way is just to focus most of your energy on your self-concept and raising your view of yourself to meet the goal that you want to achieve as opposed to just staying here in this small self-concept about self and then hoping that you will get to your goal through effort and force. If it's working for you, then great to do that. But if you want to see massive shifts in your life, then really the secret is in the self-concept. If you think you're wonderful, you're amazing, you're loved, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're one of a kind, if you really believe that about yourself and you invest in yourself in that way, wouldn't it be so easy to believe that you could get this job over here? Do you think you'd have to affirm it a million times? Or do you think maybe you could just visualize about it once or twice and you would accept that to be true? You would feel that to be true. Now, there are many techniques and methods that can work for you. The easiest way, the fastest way to level up your life, the fastest way to get to your goal is to lower the importance of the thing that you're trying to manifest, to attain, and to raise your own self-concept and to put the majority of your focus on your self-concept. So I wanna challenge you guys today. Turn off all the videos, turn off YouTube, turn off Instagram, turn off everything for one week. And in that week, I want you to really sit with yourself and actually asking yourself, what do I really think about myself? What do I really believe about myself? If you can do that for one week, I guarantee you, you're going to understand more what the problem is in relation to your manifestation, in relation to what you're trying to get. Now, if you'd like help with working on your self-concept and really smashing through the limiting beliefs in your life, smashing through what you believe is possible for you, all the information is down below in the description for coaching. Now, I definitely wanna check out this next video because in this video, I also give you another way to completely shift your perspective and your awareness so that you can manifest your desires much faster. Thanks so much for subscribing and hitting the bell. I make each video with love and I will see you guys in the next video.